Hi, I want to talk briefly about HyperExpress today and how it relates to doing hypermedia and linking in a RESTful service. HyperExpress is a uh, media type agnostic library. Right now it, it only supports HAL, but it was built to support um, multiple media types, multiple output media types from a RESTful service. Um, HAL, JSON-LD, Siren, uh, Collection JSON, those kinds of things. And I want to tell you about how the pieces fit together. Um, first off, it's a domain-driven design kind of concept, so everything is driven from your domain model or your DTOs if you have that kind of thing in your RESTful services. HyperExpress is built around the concept of a relationship definition. That's where you have uh, you define the relationships between your objects. So if a course has a relationship to a user or a course has a relationship to course sections, those kinds of things, or a student has a relationship to courses, that's where you would define your relationship. So in essence, that's where you say objects of this type have these rel types going to these URLs. That's the concept of a relationship definition. Um, it also has the idea of token resolution because the URLs in, these, in the relationship definition will most likely be templates where you have I identifiers in your URL and we need to resolve those identifiers in the, U the template URLs using data from the domain model. So there's a token resolver where we can bind data from the domain to identifiers in the URL. The third thing that HyperExpress does is it creates resources. Resources in an abstract sense in that they can be HAL resources, they can be Siren resources, they can be JSON-LD resources. So it maps the domain model to a resource that is just an, uh, a resource definition. It's, it's an abstract thing. It copies the properties uh, from the domain model into the resource and then stitches in links or relationships and resolves the tokens in the URLs to that resource. And then the whole process, um, when it gets serialized, it creates a media type specific object or uh, deserialization or serialization of that of that resource with its links into the requested media type. Now, HyperExpress, unlike some of the, some or most of the other libraries, does not do the serialization for you. However, it uh, favors Jackson, um, but assumes that you're already using Jackson in your project. And so you stitch in serializers, uh, resource specific, like how specific in this case, um, serializers and deserializers into your existing Jackson configuration. That's the, those are the unique things about HyperExpress. Um, it's media type agnostic, assumes you're going to do multi, multiple media types. It does not do serialization for you, but provides Jackson-based serializers and deserializers for you to plug into your existing configuration, and it has the concept of this relationship definition. So those are the moving pieces of HyperExpress and how they all fit together. Now let's dive in to do a little work with it.